Hey guys, welcome back to another Division build. Today we're doing a more unique one that's focused on destroying enemies through explosions. This is one of my favorites because of the fun that comes along with the build, so I suggest giving it a try. This is the Demolition build, which is mostly focused on dishing out explosions in the form of grenades and other mini explosions. Let's get started. First off is skills. The most logical choices for an explosive build would have to be the Sticky Bomb and Seeker Mines. Since the Seeker Mines aren't quite known for putting out damage, I recommend choosing the Air Burst mod to easily stagger and stun enemies. These make it easy to land a few extra hits and are amazing for running away from an encounter such as getting chased while rogue. Keeping the enemy away from killing you is why these are so helpful, but unlike the Seeker Mines, the Sticky Bomb with the BFB mod creates huge explosions, dealing huge amounts of damage. This is especially great for demolishing groups of enemies in seconds and causing the bleeding effect which is fantastic against other agents. This is the main output of damage on the build, so make sure to use it effectively. Combining these two skills make the demolition setup pretty powerful. As for signature skills, it's truly up to you and the playstyle of you and your team, so choose what you feel is most comfortable. If you're running solo or in a small group, however, I recommend using Survivor Link to make sure you stay alive, considering you cannot heal yourself as easily. But to truly make the demolition build as tough as it can be, Tactical Link is your go-to ability. Now let's talk about talents. Since having powerful explosions is the idea of the build, it's best to first choose Demolition Expert, which increases explosive damage by 40% after an explosive kill. This talent is great for comboing the different available explosives. For example, if you get a kill with a sticky bomb, quickly throw out a seeker mine and a grenade to get the most out of your explosives. This of course can be cycled around. Up next, I recommend using Chain Reaction to increase the amount of explosion damage by 40% when hitting multiple targets at once. This works best with the sticky bomb to really increase the damage put out, almost guaranteeing a kill against all agents and purple AI. And to support the Sticky Bomb further, I recommend choosing Shrapnel, which can spread the bleeding effect from explosions to other enemies. Any additional damage is helpful, so being able to spread it makes it all the better. And for the last talent, go for Wildfire. I originally was considering using Strike Back, but instead I ended with Wildfire to help stun even more targets from the Seeker Mine's Air Burst. Spreading Fire also means that the Incendiary Bullets are even more effective. This talent is not as necessary, but it's still helpful nonetheless. As for your attributes and armor, make sure to mainly lean towards raising your skill power. Since this build is focused on skills most of the time, making them do more damage and recharge quicker makes this setup way more effective. I usually have at least a 32,000 to 40,000 skill power, but I'm sure you can do better. Since your skill power will be higher though, your DPS and health will suffer. Firearms can stay a bit lower, but make sure to wear at least one or two stamina focused pieces of gear just to make sure you have enough health. About 65 to 70,000 should be enough if you have a group to heal you. Otherwise, health on killed gear boosts make it easier to survive alone, as mentioned in my solo build. Also, try your best to craft or recalibrate armor that supports your skills. This includes sticky bomb damage, secret mine damage, etc. Any other boosts are up to you, but do what you can to make your skills as powerful as possible. Once you hit Dark Zone level 50, setting up your gear should be much easier. Weapons, however, are completely up to you. There's really no weapon type that truly supports the build, so anything is welcome. I still prefer to run an SMG and Marksman rifle, but still try to make sure your weapons have boosts that support your normal and or signature skills. And as I've said in other build videos, using consumables usually makes your setup even better. Because the demolition build is mainly focused on skills, drinking sodas makes it even easier to use your skills more often. I do recommend some of these if you can spare a few. And that's really all for this explosive setup. The demolition build is a truly effective and group supportive one when in the right hands. It may not be the best while playing solo, but having either a group to heal you or health on kill boost makes this build incredibly fun and powerful. This is one I truly recommend if you feel like mixing up your playstyle and trying something new, while also easily supporting your team. Just make sure to balance your health and skill power accordingly. Please share your thoughts and opinions below, and feel free to stay tuned for many more division builds and more. Thank you all very much for watching and hope you have some fun with this explosive build. 